Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2021 Forest River XLR Boost 27 QBX Bunkhouse Toy Hauler Trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside, back to the outside, and then we're going to close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. All right guys, we're now up inside this new 2021 XLR Boost trailer here and we're going to start kind of looking toward the front section and we'll come back to the bunk area um, right here when you first walk in the entry door is a large pantry area and you can see here this is basically a walk-in pantry slash closet and it's a pretty big area even has a little light in it but pretty cool little setup now that area is basically right behind the TV area so you have electric fireplace which is basically a pretty cool little fancy space heater but electric fireplace there just above it is a stereo system flat screen TV area there and your kind of in command center there with some of your slide buttons your awning button uh, you know some different buttons there light switches water pump that type of stuff 12 volt heated holding tank button this one was ordered with that option um, so some pretty cool stuff there this has the uh, more winter package on it with the 12 volt heat pads and stuff like that now in your big slide out here is the thomas Paine theater seat which does have heat and massage and little lighted cup holders in it you have the big u-shaped dinette over here which does make into a bed and then you can raise up the seats and there's storage underneath of there as well if you want nice big windows overlooking the back side of your campsite area and they have the pleated pull down nightshades now those two big windows on that back wall do open about 50 percent so you can let a ton of airflow in and out of here if you want to uh, basically on a cool night or something like that kitchen area here you have the large 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator and that is a 12 volt fridge so this customer chose to order his with the renewable energy package which has a solar panel on the roof that you're seeing pop up and then there's going to be a controller over on the wall but that is kind of a cool feature because you have the sunlight basically renewing your energy and powering your fridge and your lights and things like that so it's kind of a nice feature there to do the 12 volt system below is the electric box with some breakers and fuses and the propane leak detector you have the graystone oven with the glass front little light built in little blue LED light knobs and you can turn those on and off by a little blue switch there and then you got the glass stove top that folds back and kind of acts as a backsplash pretty good amount of drawer space here and some cabinet space there below the sink you have the high-rise sprayer faucet there and a large single bowl sink hood range with the light and fan built in traditional microwave and then you have a good amount of overhead cabinet space and even a little bit of cabinet space up above the refrigerator there. A lot of vinyl floor throughout the coach here and there's a little bit of carpet on the slide section there which is basically designed to kind of hide the little slide mechanism and edging and stuff there but mostly linoleum in the camper. Now going into the master bedroom area, you can see here at the foot of the bed, that is actually open. So you've got a lot of storage right there. Now the bed will raise up technically, and you could kind of get to the outside storage compartment or the top of this little shelf area, but you don't really need to raise it up unless you kind of need to get to that outside area more than anything. Uh, overhead cabinets and hanging closet on each side of the bed. Now you also have USB charger ports on each side of the bed there at the head of the bed and electric outlet on both sides of the bed as well. Plenty of room to walk around in here at the foot of the bed and beside the bed. Got your heat vent there. 
nice big wall area here to put you a flat screen TV on so you can lay down at night and watch TV. Wall switch there for the ceiling lights. Window does open. And around on this side, same thing. Window opens, emergency exit window as well. Heat and air both in the bedroom area, so when you close the door, it's not going to get super hot or super cold. Beautiful looking unit, and the cool thing about this is it's a bunkhouse trailer floor plan basically. But the beds back there actually raise up, you can see them up there in the air, and you could pull in a motorcycle or you know some golf carts you know small four wheelers things like that so you've got some room to do that type of stuff with here uh, or even just the kids bicycles and things you know a lot of these uh you know kids want to bring stuff with them to go have fun play around you can cram all kinds of stuff underneath of there and take it with you there's also a usb charger port there on the wall beside the couch and i forgot to mention usb charger ports in those cup holders your air conditioning and furnace control is right here on the wall. Back here in this area is your bathroom. And you have a door that goes outside. Little sink area there. Medicine cabinet area. Turbo exhaust fan up in the ceiling area there. Skylight above the shower. The shower is nice, it's got a glass enclosure. And then you have your toilet area. But there's room in this bathroom to actually get out of the shower and get dressed without having to kick people out of the camper. So it's kind of nice. It does have a little bit deeper bathroom area. Now, this was also ordered with the rubber floor option here, the diamond plate floor. Um, we did this, you don't have to do this, but I have a lot of customers that want this. So when they are loading their toys, it's a little less slippery than just being linoleum. If you don't do that rubberized floor there, you end up with basically this linoleum going all the way to the back. So we just feel it's a little bit safer when you're loading things, especially if it's a little wet. Um, you know, your tires are slippery, you're not just gonna slide when you hit the brakes. Now over here is the controller for that renewable energy pack. And this basically just kind of tells you what's going on here with your volts and your stuff like that. And your bed lift up and down right here. There is USB charger ports there, along with two lights as well. Walk back here to the back, so you can walk right under your bunks. I'm roughly 5'9", and I walk right underneath of there, so not a big deal. You have a drop-down screen that will come down, kind of keep the bugs out. And there's TV hookups up here. And you can also see your pre-wire for backup camera and the little blue LED light there. Pretty cool little setup. Now we're going to close up the slide. I'm gonna drop the bunks, kind of show you what all that looks like as well. Be right back. All right guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Forest River XLR Boost. And we're gonna start here in the front, walk around, and then we'll head back to closing up the inside. Um, up front here, two and five sixteenths hitch ball to pull it with. Got your safety chains, heavy duty chains there, which does have a nice little latch there to hook them on for storage purposes. It's nice to see them start doing that. Uh, power tongue jack with manual override and a built-in LED light for nighttime so you can see a little better. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator and it does have the nicer hard bottle cover. Now behind the tanks is room for two batteries. It doesn't come with any from the manufacturer. However, you do get one deep cycle interstate battery uh, from Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. If you'd like a second one for more off the grid camping stuff, uh, talk with your salesperson about that. So there, there is room to put a second one if you want. The unit comes standard with metal sided exterior. 
There's a nice size storage compartment here that you can see pop up, which does have the little table and some stuff in there as well. So you can take that table inside. Um, four stabilizer jacks. They are heavy duty scissor stabilizer jacks, one on each corner. And also you can see the little gas line hookup right there if you wanted to do a portable grill. Power awnings, you push a button, the awning goes in and out. This has the new, what they call edge lighting. So it has a light, you can see the blue light on the arm sticking out down there. So you have a light on each arm instead of a strip underneath of the awning. So when the awning is out, it's out here further away from the camper, the light is. And when it's closed, it's not blocked as, but as much by the awning tube. So a new little lighting system they've started doing. Behind this little storage area is your outside mini fridge and a little shelf area. Then you have TV hookups out here, a couple outdoor speakers, TV mount place, uh, electric outlet, cable hookups, furnace exhaust right here, stove exhaust up there to the left of the window, and just below the furnace down there is a little rubber plug you pop off and you can feed a little tool through there and manually crank in your slide room. In case it ever electronically failed, it is manually easy to run back in. You can see pop up down there, your spare tire and the enclosed underbelly. The unit has the better, more ride steps. They come down, touch the ground, and basically they hold more weight. They don't rock and shake the camper as bad when you're running in and out, especially again, this is a bunkhouse toy hauler. Um, so when the kids are running in and out, it's not shaking and rocking and rolling, the camper is bad. And again, it does hold more weight. You have the large folding entry handle here, traditional RV entry door and screen door as well. Down here on the corner section here is the pet friendly leash hook. So you could uh, leash up your dog or something like that and give them a place to kind of hang out outside. Now up top by that awning arm is a vent and down below here to the left of the window is another vent. So if you do load like a four-wheeler or a motorcycle or something in there, it does have vents to help the fume vent out when you're traveling down the road. The unit has the optional party deck system on the back of it. So you can see here, nice little railing system holding the deck up and everything. And basically that just kind of gives you a little area to come back, hang out in. There's TV hookups there, up there on the wall. So you could mount your little flat screen TV. Now you would want to take that TV down when you look, close the uh, door and everything like that. But you could mount it up there while you're there using it. Another little LED light strip up top there. And it's also pre-wired for a backup camera. So if you wanted to do a backup camera or what I'd recommend is the observation camera, you could do the observation camera so you can see behind you while you're driving down the road. Talk with your salesperson about that. That's a cool feature to do. Ladder here on the back corner that you're seeing. It is a ladder that kind of comes out about four or five inches away from the wall and then it pushes up and into the wall a little bit. It's in in mode now, but uh, it is kind of a little fold in and out ladder. Down below here, you can see your gray and your black tank dump. Your, fit, your power cord outlet right here. It's a detachable power cord. This is a 30 amp cord that was ordered on this. Back steps are traditional RV steps. Now these steps go straight into the bathroom area. To the left of that door is the black tank flush and a hot and cold outside utility shower as well. Slide out is electric, so you push a button, it goes in and out. You'll see that when we get back around to the inside. Oh, and I almost forgot, uh, right back behind the wheel there you see pop up, that is the dump hose holder. Being a toy hauler, they don't have bumpers like traditional trailers, so you got a tube holder down there. Now up here, you're going to have your second dump, your kitchen dump area. This is the galley tank, which is basically just gray water 
and that is just strictly basically for the kitchen sink. The city water black tank flush, I'm sorry, city water and fresh water connection are right here along with the fresh water drain. Gas electric water heater right here, six gallon. And also you see in pop up there, the stickers, we're gonna pop those up for your dry weight, your gross weight, and your carrying capacity, and your tire sizes as well. But overall, pretty cool layout. It's functional, you know, you can have it as a bunkhouse trailer or still take a motorcycle with you kind of thing. So you got kind of a mixture of use here. We're gonna close everything up and be right back. All right, guys, I got her all closed up here. I just wanted to kind of show you what this looks like when the slide out is in. So if you stop at a rest area or something along those lines, you can still come up into the coach, get to your refrigerator, your sink, your cabinets, this whole area is still usable, functional, to where you can come in here and do what you need to do. Um, I put down one of the beds. I left the top bunk pinned up just so you could kind of see that. And basically you could see here, you could come in, sleep on that bed, sleep on the dinette if you needed to, without opening the actual slide out. And there you can kind of see again with the top bunk pinned. Now on these, bunks up here there's a pin right here this little pin there's four of them one on each post you pull that and that allows for the top bunk to move up and down now you don't want to pull it when the bottom bunks down you want to raise the bottom bunk up because it's the way it works and pull the pins and then lower everything down together but that's kind of neat if you don't need the top bunk you can take it out it's removable same thing with the bottom bunk if you wanted to remove the bottom bunk so they are removable, um, but you can still use them you know, as a bed if you want to leave them in place, raise them up and down kind of thing. Now, you can also get to the bathroom. This is important when you're stopping at rest areas too. So you can also come in and get to your bathroom area without a problem, which you could obviously on this floor plan have done that anyway because it had a second door, but you, know, you don't have to go outside if you are in here to get to it. Now, when you go to uh, open this up, basically you just kind of walk into the unit. Right here on the side is your button. You push this button out. So you got in and out, it's a little toggle switch. But here you can kind of see what it looks like on its way out. Pretty simple. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these RV videos. Uh, also hit the notification button there so that it will notify you when the new videos are hitting for you. So pretty simple setup. When you bring it back in, you just hit the button the opposite direction and it brings it right back in. Obviously, make sure there's nothing uh, sharp on the floor or in the way because it will run it over and damage something. But pretty simple, easy to do. Thanks guys for checking out my videos.